Hi everyone, I am Lithium. We are back for some more Kerbal Space Program goodness. Now, I did record an episode where I made it by the month. Total mistake. But sadly, as I mentioned in my Dark Souls 3 video, it broke along the way. And I lost the footage where I actually did it. So it's sad, but I gotta redo it. But since I did it, I got a lot of science for that. You can see the 58.8 .8 right up there. So I can buy one of the 45 ones and those at this stage are 90 so I can't afford them yet. But I've decided which I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take basic science. Because it's got rechargeable battery packs stuff I could use into space. And it's always good to have something to communicate your results in case whatever happens. But I'm, I'm in for the battery packs because, well, I need them. I need them. I need them. You don't need any more reason. I need them. So there, basic science bought. I'll check what those other ones are. But I gotta, I gotta now bring us into space. By the way, if you're seeing this, brother, happy birthday. Yeah, today, uh, the day I'm recording this is the 20th of May, and it is my brother's birthday. So, happy birthday, bro! I'm sorry I couldn't be here to whatever meeting that you have, but happy birthday anyway. I love you. Hugs. Come on. So, now that this is over with, let's just load the Mother Nature. I think that's it. That's the last ship I used. Isn't that ugly? Yeah, it is. But one thing I'm gonna do to make sure that I make it, because it was on total accident and I almost ran out of fuel, what am I gonna do is I'm gonna take four fuel boosters, yes, but I'm gonna take more powerful ones because I want them to last long enough. So, now some aerodynamics, some nipple cones, so that they don't catch too much air, some basic fins, because they're, they do not need as big ones as the ones down below. And now there's something I'm missing. I got my Mexican diaper, that's cool, but I don't have anything else. Because, yeah, I don't have any place for that. It's just a ship that I have right now. I will put battery pack when I can reload, when I can make a new ship. But now I just want to go back into... I wa just want to go back near the month. So let's save the Mother Nature again. Go to the launch pad. Oh, I don't fall over from overweight. So now, just a quick look up, we have eight thumper engines, we have four ammers over there, they're all, oh, they're all full thrust, aren't they? Well, I don't care. And we still have, well, we still have our drogue parachutes, our normal parachute, the normal parachute on top. We got the decouplers, a Mexican diaper, we got three fuel tanks right there. And yeah, that's about it. So let me just make sure everything is staged correctly. We got all the thumpers here, then the decouple, and then this. No, I want this to go at the same time, so I can control this, so these will go off, deplete all their fuel, and then I can control this. And then decouple, throw parachute, and parachute. Okay, but one thing we need to make sure is that, that we're on right course with the mud. Thing is, I can go right now, but by the time I reach this point right over there... Oh, you don't see my mouse. Duh, damn, that's sucky. Well, you see the mun right there. If I go from the spot that I am all the way into its orbit axis, I will not get it because by the time I get there, it will have passed. So I need to warp. How do I warp again? I need to warp and get the Earth and the mun in a good enough position that I can work with. You see, that's already better, question mark. Yeah, that's already better. I think that's about the same angle that I got by mistake, but I still got it. So let's throw up the full and go, Modinator. Oh my, the hammers, they're too heavy. God damn it. Yeah, it's coming. We'll catch it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, I need to... 
I need, I need to get into a course where I do not crash on it. Okay, so... Going pro-grade will... Uh... Uh... I am not moving this then. I am not making this go away. Oh, but wait, I have a lot less to fight if I go prograde than if I go... Oh, mommy, why didn't you tell me about this? Okay, so the best is if I go under the planet, uh, under the moon. And right now I'm going... Ah, uh, yeah, prograde is going under. That's good enough. But you know what? I should just go myself... Point it downwards, because what I want to do is avoid it. So, in relation to the mun, going this way, you know, radio. Radio. That's good enough for me. So. Sweet! And since there is no gravity on the mun, I will not be catching any atmosphere that will drop me. So what will happen is, I will go by there, I will go by there, I will go by there, I will escape the month's gravity, and then Kerbin's gravity will grab me again. At least I'm hoping. So let's enjoy these cool shots of the moon, shall we? Wow! I want to cough so badly right now, but wow! I did not get so close last time. Oh, wow! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So now we're getting on the dark side of the moon. It's a lot less interesting over there. So let's just go out and into, well, into here. So, no, no, time warp faster. And over the, over here. Well, okay. Okay, so where? So, okay, my periapsis is the lowest point, and my apoapsis is my uh, highest point. So, in order, managing the periapsis will be much easier since it's closer to Kerbin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to our apoapsis and then we're gonna turn retrograde. I have a lot more ground to cover than last time. Did I miss? Yeah, I missed it! Come on, Jeb! Jeb! Jeb, shoot! Oh, that is not the right button, you jerk! Okay. 40,000. Ah, no, 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 crap. Well, we're on a crash course. Can I go pro grade? Go pro grade so we can at least widen it. Will I widen my apoapsis but not my periapsis? I wonder. I wonder. Okay. With the little fuel that I have left, I will. Okay, I have a periapsis. 59, okay, I'll have to go retrograde again, and this time not be an idiot, and don't throttle up the full right away. I will throttle a little wee bit, but I don't, well, the button to throttle lightly is shift, and if I press it five times in a row, I will get onto my desktop. I need to tell my computer to stop doing that. Okay, so throttle a little. 40,000, that's good enough. And hot damn, I still have a little fuel to spare. So, let's go back down to Kerbin. 70,000. So we're gonna catch atmosphere soon. So turn our ass retrograde, because we're gonna catch air real soon. And with the angle that we have right now, we're gonna have hair for a lot of time. God damn it, I should have put some radiators on there. But oh well.
What's done is done. Time warp one. We're still going down. We're going down a hell of fast. We're going 3,000 meters a second. That is like one, two, three, four. That's almost five times the speed of sound. That's almost five Mach. That's almost Mach 5. Yeah, I sound very intelligent like that. But I am not, I tell you. I know some random trivia things, but that's about it. Really. I am not awesome in any way. Look at the altitude not going down fast. Look at that. And look at that speed also not going down fast. Look at that. By using... Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. No. Don't overheat. No! No! No, you can't take this from me! No, you cannot overheat. You cannot. I forbid you. There we go. You do not overheat. I need to be pixel perfect on that. Wait. Wait. Oh no! I am rising! Because... Wait a second! I was going too fast? So the air did not break me enough to give me a crash course. But my apoapsis is slowly going down. So basically, I'm gonna break towards atmosphere for a long goddamn time. But at least... At least, what's gonna happen is if I go back into space, my orbit is still good. I can go back by the periapsis and break again. But hot damn. I am rising again? Seriously? Oh, and I can't take the risk to time warp to a faster speed. So, okay, we're going near the apoapsis. We're just gonna warp until we get near Kerbin again. And then we're gonna do the trick again. Let's just warp until we are closer. <clears throat> Problem is, I'm gaining my speed back. Under a thousand, slow down a bit. Seventy thousand, slow down a bit more. So. Retrograde, and I'm still at 2,800. So again, we're gonna use the air, the atmosphere, to slow us down, and hope that gets us down low enough, that breaks us enough, to give us a crash course down to Kerbin. We should be passing the apoapsis soon. 40... Uh, 41 and we're going back down again cool so this mission will end up a success if I can help it and now I no longer have a periapsis we're on a crash course we're on a crash course with Kerbin so now we can start thinking carefully about opening our parachutes. My nose still itches. I always have the same problem when I'm recording. Suddenly I want to cough, suddenly my nose itches. So, as we're going down lower, the atmosphere will kick in more because there is less oxygen up high than down low. That is why hikers mountain hikers, mountain climbers, whatever the hell you call them, sometimes need oxygen tanks when they're going high up because it's a lot more rare up there and thus they have trouble breathing. Where air is thinner, not just oxygen, mind you. So since we're going down, air is getting a bit thicker and, it, and then we're catching more. It's slowing us more. That's how it works. So the lower we're going, the more we're breaking. But the more hot, the hotter we get too. 
And we see the atmosphere line right here. That is cool, isn't it? That is cool. That is cool. You know why the sky is blue? Oh, suddenly the Milky Way appears. Or the Kerbal Way, I don't know. But you know why the atmosphere is blue? It's because the atmosphere is made up of air, of air, right? An ozone diaper or something. Well, basically, I don't know the specifics of it, but basically, sunlight goes through that, and the chemicals in the air that makes up our atmosphere filters pretty much all color but blue. That is why we see the sky at night, we, we see stars at night, because we are not pointing towards the sun the part the the part where we live is not pointing towards the sun so we do not see blue because there is no sunlight and since there is no sunlight well there is no blue and hence we see the sky naked as it is and i think oh 800 now we're going down slow we're 12,000 feet though 12,000 meters though i should start thinking about that it messes with my eyes so much because I can see the sky over there, but I am landing in a part where it's night. Throw parachutes. Oh, well, they'll only open at 5,000 meters, though. But I'm going down slow enough. I'm only going 250 meters per second. That is low. That is low from coming for coming down out of orbit. But then I missed my chance twice, didn't I? So... Boop. There we go. And now I'm gonna speed up until I'm down lower, or else it's gonna take four freaking ever to reach the ground. 200, that's good enough. Now here comes the nice, slow parachutes. They're gonna carry us down all the way to victory. So, yeah, that's it, guys. We made it back to the Mun. Well, I made it back to the Mun. But we made it to the Mun, passed it, and came back down alive. And you know what? I forgot the goddamn report again. Again. Oh, freaking again. I always forget those. Oh, well, let's recover. I wonder if I get more science from recovering a ship that came by the Mun again. Uh, yeah, I got two science. You gave me 12 last time, but that is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, well, apparently the, sh the parts that I shot down didn't get recovered. That is sad, but that is life. So, yeah, that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, um... For the next part, I'm gonna do contracts on my own. I'm not gonna record me doing that. But I'm gonna do contracts in order to get money, science, and so I have something new to show you in the next part. Our next objective will be to actually land on the money. That will be cool, right? But I'm gonna get some more science before I get this done. So, thanks everyone for tuning in, and we'll be back with some more. See ya!